Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Charles. I want to welcome you guys to another episode of the Dreamers Pro Show, where we cover everything from sports, hot topics, classic debates, entertainment, and we give you guys a fresh perspective on things and how we see them. And boy, oh boy, we got another episode for you guys. I know a lot of people are going to be going at it uh, in the comment section, but let's get into it. It's a fun topic. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you go ahead and do so and like the video. Now, one of the most interesting, <laughs> I'm laughing already. <laughs> One of the most interesting and laughable comments we get on this channel all the time is this. I bet you ends, you mofos wouldn't be able to get you could get any views. You can't I bet you can't go a week without talking about LeBron. I bet you guys couldn't get any views if you didn't produce any LeBron James videos, right? <laughs> These comments usually come from staunch LeBron James supporters who overestimate his impact on the sport. Uh, usually that's where these comments co uh, come from. And whenever I read these comments, I will usually laugh at them, first of all. And I'm like, and I will tell them, I said, guys, <laughs> guys, wait a minute. Y'all realize that actually Jordan videos actually perform the best on our channel uh, because there are more people that give a damn about Jordan than they do about LeBron. Sorry to, <laughs> sorry to burst your bubble. And people get pissed off about it. They're like, no, 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 no. And what we've noticed is that whenever we produce a video that has nothing to do with Jordan or LeBron, it does really well. We don't hear from these guys anymore. They're like, I'm like, damn, man, these I can't stand these people, man. Because their theory flies <laughs> right out the window. They can't do any videos. I mean, we do a video that does well. Uh, we don't, we don't, we don't hear um, anything. Uh, we don't hear anything about him. So this is something that's quite funny. And I think a lot of people out there truly believe this. Like LeBron, if there's no LeBron, nobody basketball wouldn't be what it is. Listen. Um, I've always said that Jordan is the far bigger draw to the sports and more people care about basketball when Michael Jordan is involved than any other player that ever played in the NBA. And I stumbled upon an article. Now, let me just quickly say this before I get into the article. Actually, some of our viewers like Candace and others uh, have been asking, hey, produce this video, produce this video. Even last night, Marco and I were discussing it. Like, should we produce this video? I'm like, yeah, it's gonna, these people are going to come in the comment section, going to start twerking it up. They're going to be bothering me. And I'm like, I don't know if I have the energy for this. And Marco's like, the hell with it. So... If y'all want to dis if y'all want to bother anybody, go bother uh, go, go bother Marco because he's the one that said, "Hey man, just you know what the hell with the list of the video." So I got this article here from what is it, SportsMediaWatch.com, and it has some pretty interesting things uh, things to talk about. So let me start off the, art the article starts off with the headline: NBA Post Most Watched Opening Playoff Weekend Since 2011. After three years of intense scrutiny of lower than usual ratings, the NBA opened with its most watched opening weekend in 11 years. And it's the most uh, watched opening weekend game in 20. The opening weekend of the NBA playoffs averaged 4.5 million viewer viewers across uh, ABC, uh, ESPN, and TNT, the largest audience for its first weekend of play since 2011 viewership jumped 37 percent from last year when the nba playoffs began in late may 2.9 2.95 million and 41 percent from 2019 the previous postseason began in april which 2.88 million broken down by network abc averaged about 5.72 million for its first two games which is plus 34 percent espn averaged about 3.6 million for its first three which is about 18 percent plus and TNT averaged about 3.8, which is about 47%. ESPN ABC had its most watched opening weekend since 2011. TNT, uh, its most watched since 2018. So back, <laughs> here we go again. I don't know what to say, right? Because a lot of people say, well, Le LeBron isn't in the playoffs. So for the people that feel like, oh, y'all won't be able to get no views, and you know what? Let me just let me not limit let, let me not limit it to, to to us here. Let's limit it to the sports media, people covering basketball. If they couldn't get any views, how come more people are watching now? And LeBron is not in the playoffs. Please help me understand that. No LeBron, no the Lakers are in the playoffs, and more people are watching than ever before, and probably in the last ten years, and basically in a decade. How do you explain that? Let me quickly give you guys Michael Jordan's viewership numbers in the NBA Finals versus LeBron James, and hopefully this will hammer this, 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 uh, this idea home. When Michael Jordan was in the playoffs and it was in the NBA Finals, let me give you the numbers. In Game 1, about 29 million people watched. In Game 2, about 26.7 million people watched. In Game 3, 26 million. In Game, what is it? I think this was Game 5, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, 30, yeah, 30 million people watched. And in game six, almost 36 million people watched 35.8 million. Let me give, let me give you guys LeBron numbers. The last time he was in the finals against the Miami heat 
7.5 million, 7.4, 6.1, 5.9, 7.5, 8.9. Now, sometimes people say, well, but no, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. You're not being fair because LeBron was, LeBron, there was the, the, the pandemic year. Okay, let me give you the other year in 2016. That year was 20 million, 19 million, 17.4, 16.4, uh, 20.5, 20, and 31. Right? So, what is, what is, what is all of this telling you? What is telling you is this more people, care about basketball when Michael Jordan is involved than any other basketball player. Jordan was simply the biggest draw this sport ever had. He simply was. The shocker in all of this is Jordan was able to do all of this without the advantages of social media because social media allows you to get out your message more clear and more often, right? And you can do it on an individual level. Go check us out tonight, posting, getting people hyped. Jordan didn't have any of that whatsoever. LeBron James, if we look at his combined social media followers, he has a roughly about 250 million social media followers across the major social media network platforms, about 250 million, but not even a 10th of these people tune in to watch him in the playoffs or in the NBA finals. Not even a 10th. Those are cosmetic, cosmetic numbers. It's like a guy that has a hundred thousand followers on Instagram. He posts a comment. He posts, he posts something, maybe 5,000 people like how many people comment about 93 people comment. Those are just, those are just empty calories, right? Those are just co cosmetic numbers where people look at them and they, they trick a lot of, there a lot of stupid people out there. Advertisers have got to say, they see these numbers and get fooled by, wow, they have a hundred thousand. They put something out that nobody gives a damn to even comment on it. So LeBron has all of these followers, but no one is watching. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Jo Pete Jordan is the bigger draw. We even saw that recently at All-Star Weekend in Cleveland when they were celebrating the 75th anniversary. And who came out there and got the biggest applaud? It was Michael Jordan in Cleveland of all places, of all places. So what's the point of all of this? The point is Michael Jordan is the GOAT in every imaginable way. Y'all, y'all can't say, oh, I'm loving Jordan. These are, these are just facts. And a lot of people feel like Jordan is my favorite basketball player of all time. He's not. He's one of my favorite, my favorite basketball player of all time is Kobe, but Looking at the numbers, looking at everything, I mean, Jordan is, I mean, like, this is not a discussion. And for this to be true, these numbers, for as high as they are, they're not as high when Jordan played. They're just a high over the last 10 years. And that speaks volume. So when you guys say, oh, what's going no one, what's going to happen? You know, when LeBron retires, you guys are going to be done. I think actually the opposite. I think you should expect an increase. I think people are going to, Watch even more because I think to a certain extent, there's been an oversaturation. LeBron is oversaturated in media. I think people are exhausted right? because every day with the polls and ESPN, whenever something happens, you open up your, your app, ESPN post this with like there's an oversaturation and people are tired. Like, please, can we get something else? 